garlicky mashed potatoes, one large starchy russet potato per person. Peel that up, cut the potatoes in equal shapes and sizes, cover the potatoes with cold water, bring the water up to a full boil before you salt, otherwise the salt will sink to the bottom and scar your pots. When you're cooking with potatoes, they're full of starch, of course. So I put the lid on just to bring them up to a boil, because we start with cold water, of course, and then you gotta be mindful and take the lid off immediately or that starch will cause this to overflow. In with the potatoes, I have lots of cloves of crushed garlic. We're gonna warm some milk to put into our mashed potatoes. And of course, we're gonna use a little butter, salt, pepper, and nutmeg. I like white pepper in my uh, garlic mash. So our potatoes are coming up to a boil. Now for the mashed potatoes, I put them through the ricer or the food mill and we process them. You could just mash them with a hand masher too, that's fine. We're gonna add in our hot milk now. I'm gonna season with a little white pepper, salt, and nutmeg. And for these potatoes, I use Taleggio, which is an Italian soft cheese. It's my husband's favorite. You can also use brie, ripe brie, or camembert. So good. And with soft cheeses, you just cube, cube them up, chill them down, cube them up. You could also use a soft young fontina, that'd be delicious and stir it in slowly, slowly until all the cheese melts. When we come back, we'll plate it up. All right. This is one of my husband's favorites, garlic taleggio mashed potato. You could also make it with brie or camembert. I've been making these for years. They are delicious. How good does that look? Like crazy. 